Welcome, everybody, to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and Attention Coach Jeff Copper. Today, I'm here to talk about self-awareness and planning. Um, a real challenge uh, for people with ADHD is planning. It requires executive functioning. Attention deficit disorder is an executive functioning impairment. Makes some sense. But part of the planning process is self-awareness. I have a lot of people call me up, say, I need to make a plan. I need to make a plan. I need to make a plan. I'm struggling to make a plan. And I've coached people before where they actually made a plan um, and scheduled it out, but they still struggle. The question is why? Well, this is where observation comes in, in self-awareness, because often I think people think that the plan um, is what does the job. The plan is basically to bring clarity to what's going on and know what you kind of need to do. What I find the challenge is, is people will maybe make a plan on what they think they should do or what might be good for them, which is noble. I, I don't have a problem with that. But what they fail to realize is that while they make a plan, they end up doing whatever they want to do. Um and they don't think about this because they keep trying over and over and over again. And to say, you know, if I make this plan, they'll say that I'm motivated to do it when they might not do the plan because they're motivated to go to social media or watch Netflix. By the way, those are metaphors. You have your own thing that you would go to. And so what I've learned over the years is when this has happened, you've got to problem solve. You have to actually acknowledge that you're more motivated to do these other things. And a few things you need to do. One, strategically, is you probably need to remove some of those other things uh, because it's hard to do something that you don't want to do when there's something there that you do want to do. But the trick here also is to make the thinking part or the doing part of the plan actually easier um, because you're really kind of escaping if it's difficult. And so what I'm really trying to illustrate here is that often the challenge of a plan sometimes making it. But again, if, 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 if you're doing a plan with somebody else, make the plan, but they don't do it. The issue really is typically the plan has some ambiguity or some difficult thinking. It's relatively hard. So emotionally, you, there's an urge to escape and you end up going to do something that's more pleasurable. In other words, you're motivated to do something else. Um, to illustrate a lot of people like, I need to exercise, I need to exercise, and they're not going because why? They're motivated to do something else, whether to answer one more email to get the pressure off to stay caught up, or they're motivated, again, to watch Netflix or social media or something like that. So why do I bring this up? Well, if you're going to problem solve anything, you have to really have to deal with the root cause. And if you don't have the self-awareness that you're more motivated to do other things, which is why you're not executing the plan that you wrote down, you're not really dealing with the core of the problem. To actually admit that you're more motivated to do those other things, now you're put in a position to do something about those. Remove the temptations or... Um, uh, well, remove the temptations to get somebody help to remove the temptations and actually sit there and say, how am I going to make this plan easier? So a lot of people like tip tricks and strategies around here. And I'm saying a lot of times they don't necessarily work because you have this urge and you end up overriding at the end. So you got to kind of gain some self-awareness and own some of this stuff in order to problem solve. I hope this is giving you pause to think, um, maybe get some insights, maybe stop and look at what you're doing when you're not executing a plan and realizing, hmm, I've got a problem solve around that. If you're new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button. For our regular listeners, you know I love your comments. What do you think? Can you identify with this? Um, also, uh, we do what we do for you. We appreciate any contributions that you might make to the cause because uh, we're doing this all out of pocket. Um, just hit the thanks button. With that, we hope you found this enlightening uh, and enjoy this edition. Take care.